you know, I had a few options for subjects I could have covered for today's video. Whether it be the fact that KFC have gone back to Bidvest. Yeah, go figure, a non-food delivering company couldn't match up because they had one delivery depot to that of Bidvest, a company that is renowned for delivering food. Or I could have done a video on the fact that instead of saying Jimmy Kimmel, which was even written in my script for my last video, I said Jimmy Fallon because I'm a colossal bellend. Instead, I want to talk about Danarell. You see, Danarell is a rather amusing little lol cow. For those who are unaware, Danarell is a, quote, journalist. He's also a well-known atheist. I say well-known, he's published some books, so uh, he's well-known to an extent. In any case, over the last two to three years, I've heard about this guy, and he's done a few things that have stood out. For example, he had a bit of an argument with Dave Rubin, where I believe he called him a Nazi. Nice calling a Jewish man a Nazi because of who he decides to speak to, blah, 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 the usual nonsense. He also advocated for punching women based on what they believed, and I'm going to play a little audio clip of that. So, okay, all of them believe in, in, the, in a genocidal kind of idea. They spread it, they spread it around, uh, they have websites, but they all have these different physical attributes. One is a woman, one is an elderly man, somebody's in a wheelchair. Is it, does, does those elements make any difference for you? Should people no. go around punching women who are Nazis? Basically is the question. <laughs> to uh, yeah, to put that simply, I, I, I don't think I can differentiate there. He's starting to sound like a delightful individual, is he not? Now, most recently, he did something that was so amusing because it's been debunked so many times, although I get the point that he wants to believe victims of rape, but he kind of opened himself up here. With all the things he has said and promoted, and I think a lot of people tend to agree here, that he's not a particularly nice person. He will jump to extremes, and he has shown quite a nasty side to himself, whether it be his views on the police, the use of physical violence. I want to touch on what you were talking about with uh, cowardice. Um, so, for example, there's an MMA fighter called Melvin Costa. I don't know if you're familiar with him. I, I just kind of found him actually I'm, I'm for preparing for this. Actually, he's not famous too much, I think. Um, but he's covered in Nazi propaganda and, and tattoos. He's a white supremacist, MMA fighter, professional. Um, would you punch that that Nazi yourself? Would you would you punch Melvin Costa knowing he's an MMA fighter? Oh, no, because I will lose that fight. <laughs> Calling people Nazi when they're Jewish. So when he tweeted, I believe victims of rape, this is, by the way, his magnum opus on Twitter. This is what he's going to be remembered for, and, oh dear, he's even got his own little thing on Encyclopedia Dramatica now, of all places, which includes the quote, I am 100% pro-free speech. Shutting down hate speech is an act of free speech. What? I'd love to know where that came from, but what? In any case, he tweeted, I believe victims of rape. This is apparently controversial. Smash the fucking patriarchy. Now, there was another tweet to this. Due process is the new asking a rape victim what she was wearing. This was in response to a man called Skeptical Desi. Serious question, do you idiotic SJWs understand what the term due process means? Now, turning due process into the what the victim was wearing kind of rhetoric denigrates the whole democratic process. It denigrates the whole legal system. What the victim was wearing, yes, is something that does crop up, but it is not a scapegoat or an excuse used to somehow devalue the victim or claimed victim. I think we have to understand here that you cannot simply agree with someone because they say something happened to them. Evidence in cases like this, with crimes like that, have to be proven. And let's face it, at this moment in time, the crime of rape is losing all value because of the increasing number of false rape victims coming forward. It is disgusting that these same vindictive fucks who would have people like Dan Arell and, of course, Lena Dunham believe them blindly, would instead of just waiting for the evidence to come out, would instead jump to a conclusion and make an assumption. And I maintain this, an assumption is the mother of all fucked up choices. It has no place in society when it comes down to understanding, learning, and, of course, prosecuting. Now, in response to Dan Arell, there was a funny exchange here. I cannot pronounce your name, so I'm going to call you Pink-Haired Foreign Lady. Her response was, So I guess if I were to say I got raped by Dan Arell, he would believe me. Now, this led to a series of exchanges where she indicated he had a tiny cock and that he'd raped her, and he responded, but he did not refute the tiny cock reference. 
all of which fell down and crumbled around him to the point where he deleted his Twitter, which to me is the funniest thing ever, along with the hashtag Danarell raped me. I think there was another like that before. Wasn't it Lacey Green raped me or something? I know there was a wouldn't even rape you thing for Jess Phillips, but I think when Lacey was still, I, I guess you could say, not red pill. Of course, that's entirely subjective whether you think that the case or not, if she has or has not been since she um, has started engaging with people on many different sides to many different arguments or not. But in any case, Danarell raped me the hashtag ad friendly, right? On the subject of that, now I get to segue to this. I talked about this in a recent stream on my second channel, as I do normally on a Thursday evening, in response to Prime Minister's questions, link in the description. But I got a recent video put in age-restricted mode. It did really well on viewers, I was quite proud of that. Thank you very much to all of you that watched. I am going to now say that if you want to, you are welcome to mirror it. It's age-restricted, I don't benefit from this anymore. So I'm quite happy for others to share the video around. You don't have to link me, you don't have to credit me. You can upload it to your channel as it is, if you want to. It's not even a very good video, to be honest. I'm happy with the result, but I think in hindsight I could have done better. But I think that for all my videos. Now before we finish here, because I don't have much more planned for this, I was recently sent a sandwich video, and I thought we'd finish with that. So I hope you all have a lovely day, and thank you all for listening. Oh, and subscribe to the person who sent me this. It is beautiful.